Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics free lecture. Today's topic is inverse Laplace transform. This topic is from second unit. In previous lecture, we have discussed Laplace Laplace transform. Now, inverse Laplace transform. See, what is the definition of inverse Laplace transform? L raised to minus one means this is the operator used for or notation used for inverse Laplace transform. So called as inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t. For function f of t, we find the Laplace transform. It is always f of s. And when we find the inverse Laplace transform, the reverse process, we find the inverse Laplace transform of the function f of s and it is equal to f of t, reverse of Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace of some functions here, inverse Laplace transform of one upon s minus a is equal to t raised to a t. Inverse Laplace transform of one upon s raised to n plus one is equal to t raised to n upon n factorial, or it is also equal to t raised to n upon gamma n plus one. It is equal to t raised to n upon n factorial when n is positive integer. Inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square plus s square is one upon a into sine a t. Inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square minus s square is 1 upon a into hyperbolic sine function, sine function sine a t. Inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square is equal to cos function cos a t. Inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square minus a square is hyperbolic cos function cos a t hyperbolic cos. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is equal to 1. Inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus s square all square is t upon 2a to sine a t. Inverse Laplace transform of integration over s to infinity f of s ds is equal to f of t upon t. Inverse Laplace transform of f of s upon s is equal to integration over 0 to t f of t dt. Inverse Laplace transform of e raised to minus a s into f of s is equal to f of t minus a into u of t minus a. So these are the results. These are the inverse Laplace transform of some functions. Some of functions. Now example, find the inverse Laplace transform of 3s minus 8 upon s square plus 4. Now, to separate here both the terms because in numerator there are two terms, subtraction of two terms. So you separate both the terms here in solution. Inverse Laplace transform of 3s minus 8 upon s square plus 4 is equal to 3 constant. So we can write it set the bracket 3 into inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 4 minus 8 to inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 4. It is equal to 3 into inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 4. It is nothing but cos 2t using the formula of inverse Laplace transform of, we are using this formula here, inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square is cos a t. Okay. And so the inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 4 is cos 2t minus 8 as it is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 4 is nothing but the sine 2t upon 2, 4 upon, sorry, 8 upon 2, 4. That's why the coefficient is here, 4. Because 1 upon s square plus 4, it's inverse Laplace transform is sine 2t upon 2. And this 8 is there, so 8 upon 2, 4. That's why the term is 4 here. So this is the inverse Laplace transform for 3s minus 8 upon s square plus 4. Okay. Now the next example, find the inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 5 upon s square plus 4s plus 13. Now here, inverse Laplace transform of this function is nothing but your function f of t. Okay. Now uh, we can write this 2s plus 5 as 
टू इंटू ब्रैकेट एस प्लस टू प्लस वन इफ वी सॉल्व द ब्रैकेट टर्म इट इज टू एस प्लस फोर बट एक्चुअल ओरिजिनल टर्म इज टू एस प्लस फाइव टू एड वन सो दैट यू विल गेट आफ्टर सॉल्विंग द ब्रैकेट टर्म यू विल गेट द कंप्लीट टर्म टू एस प्लस फाइव अपॉन एस स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एस प्लस थर्टी सो इन डिनोमिनेटर यू एट दिस रिटर्म एस स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एस प्लस फोर एस स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एस प्लस फोर प्लस नाइन यू कैन स्प्लीट थर्टीन एस फोर प्लस नाइन एंड देन एस स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एस प्लस फोर इज द परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर दिस एस प्लस टू होल स्क्वेयर प्लस नाइन एंड सो इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ इनवर्स लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ This two uh, into bracket s plus two bracket complete plus one upon s plus two whole square plus nine is here. The every term of s is displaced by s plus two. So using shifting property, we can reduce this term as e raised to minus two t because the uh, term s is displaced by s plus two. So the power of exponential function is minus two t e to the power minus two t into inverse Laplace of f of s. Now what is inverse Laplace of f of s? E raised to minus two t into inverse Laplace of. Now remove this plus two term because its work is over here. We have replaced it by e raised to minus two t. So in place of s plus two, now the term will be only s because we have replaced that s plus two by exponential function using. Shifting property here e raised to minus two t into inverse Laplace of two s plus one upon s square plus nine. Now in numerator there is addition of two terms, so you separate both the terms. So e raised to minus two t as it is inverse Laplace transform of two constant s upon s square plus nine plus one upon s square plus nine. So f of t is equal to e raised to minus two t as it is two is constant term, so it is as As it is, s upon s square plus nine inverse Laplace of s upon s square plus nine is cos three t, and inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square plus nine is sine three t upon three. So this is your answer for the second example. Now the third example is here. Find the inverse Laplace transform of three s plus one upon s plus one whole cube. It is equal to function of t inverse Laplace transform of the function three s plus one upon s plus one to the power four is f of t. Now the denominator term is displaced in the form of s plus one, so we can rearrange the numerator term also in the form of s plus one. We can write the term three s plus one as three into bracket s plus one. If we solve this bracket term, it is three s plus three. Uh, the constant term is plus three, but in original term it is plus one. So if we subtract two, then uh, the term will be three s plus one. See, three s plus three minus two is three s plus one upon s plus one to the power four. Okay, here s is displaced by s plus one here. So again, uh, using shifting property here, f of t is equal to now s is displaced by s plus one. So you write here the coefficient of exponential function minus one. So to e to the power minus three, inverse Laplace of three minus sorry three s minus two upon s plus two four. So the term is three s two minus three into inverse Laplace transform of three s minus two upon s plus two four. Three s two minus three as it is. Now in numerator there are two terms. We separate these two terms. So inverse Laplace of three s Sorry, three s upon s plus two four means three upon s plus two three minus two upon s plus two four, which is equal to three s two minus three. So inverse Laplace of three upon s plus two three is three constant as it is one upon s cube, which is three square upon two factorial. We are using this formula here. We are using the second formula. Inverse Laplace of one upon s plus ten plus one is three s ten upon n factorial. We are using this formula there. Yeah. 
here. So B constant one upon s cube, its inverse Laplace is t square upon two factorial minus two constant inverse Laplace of inverse Laplace transform of one upon s cube for this t cube upon three factorial using the same formula. And so f of t is equal to e raised to minus t t upon two t square minus two upon three factorial. Three factorial means six. Three into two into one. Six two upon six two is one by three. One by three into t two. So this is your answer for the given one. Next is find the inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square plus a square whole square. Now you assume that inverse Laplace. Uh, you know that inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square plus a square is one upon a into sin a t. This is the formula. Now if we differentiate this term one upon s square plus a square. Uh, with respect to S, uh, property of derivative in Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform of derivative term, derivative of uh, f of S term, it is equal to nothing but minus t into f of t. This is the property of Laplace transform, property of derivative in Laplace transform. Okay. So inverse Laplace transform of now, what is your f of s? f of s is here 1 upon s square plus s square. So write it in place of f of s 1 upon s square plus s square derivative. It is equal to minus t into f of t. Minus t into f of t is here 1 upon a into sin a t. Okay. So uh, here differentiate this 1 upon s square plus s square with respect to s. So its derivative is nothing but 1 upon s square plus a square whole square minus sine minus 1 upon s square plus a square whole square and the composite derivative of s square is 2s. So the complete derivative is minus 2s upon s square plus a square whole square is equal to minus p upon a sine 18. So this is the term here. And then we are interested in the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square whole square. So use here the integral property because we have to remove this s which is present in numerator. Because in our original example, the term is only 1 upon s square plus a square whole square. So how to remove this s? Then use here the division by s property. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s into f of s is equal to integration over 0 to t f of t dt. This property is here in the result. Can see. Inverse Laplace transform of f of s upon s is nothing but t is equal to integration over 0 to t f of t dt. This property is there. So it is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s into f of s is equal to integration over 0 to t f of t dt. And so now what is f of s? f of s is this term minus 2s upon s square plus a square whole square. This uh, on both sides negative sign is there. So the negative sign get cancelled. The term is only 2s upon s square plus a square whole square. Okay. And divided by s. It is equal to nothing but integration of 0 to t f of t. f of t is here t upon a into sin a t dt. Okay. Now this s get cancelled. So it is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square whole square is equal to uh, you shift this 2 here in RHS, it is in numerator. So when we transfer it in RHS, it will be in denominator. So it is 1 upon 2. Again, inside the integral, the term is 1 upon a, which is constant. So uh, outside the integral, we can write the constant term 1 upon 2a into integration over 0 to t, t sin a t dt. Okay, and so this is your answer here. Uh, now, but uh, how to solve this integration? Integration over 0 to t, t sin a t dt. 1 upon 2a as it is, t sin a t, u there u into v rule to integrate it for the limit 0 to t. Now, what is u and what is v? Derivative of t vanishes earlier as compared to sine function. So, assume t as u. So, u as it is means t as it is. Then V1, V1 means integration of sine function, sine a t. 
So we do integration is minus cos a t upon a because variable is t, a is coefficient. So integration is minus cos a t upon a minus second term minus sign into derivative of u. U is here t, derivative of t with respect to t is 1, another bracket, v2, v2 means integration of v1. v1 is here minus cos a t upon a. Its integration is minus sign as it is integration of cos function is sin a t upon a. Already one a is there, so a into a is square. So the term is minus sin a t upon a square. The next term will be zero because derivative of one uh, is zero. So no need to write the next term. And limits are zero to t. Now upper limit is t. That t is equal to one upon two a. One upon two a as it is. Upper limit is t. So put t is equal to t. If we put t is equal to t, it is minus t into cos a t upon a minus minus plus sin a t upon a square. Lower limit is zero. So t is equal to zero. Sin zero is zero. So it is minus t cos a t upon a plus sin a t upon a square. And so if we simplify it, the term is here 1 upon 2a is constant term. So you write 1 upon 2a as it is. And 1 upon a square is also constant. So take common in both terms. So that we can write here 1 upon 2a q inside the bracket sin a t minus a t cos a t. And the last example is here, find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s into s square plus 4. Now how to find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s into s square plus 4? It is equal to 1 upon inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 4 is equal to sine 2t upon 2. Now 1 by s division by s property. Division by s property means you just integrate the function over 0 to t. Integrate the function over 0 to t, function is here 1 by 2 into sin 2t. And then you solve this integration 1 by 2 into sin 2t. 1 by 2 constant, so as it is, integration of sin 2t is minus cos 2t upon 2, limit 0 to t. And 1 by 2 as it is, upper limit is t, so minus cos 2t upon 2, minus, 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 plus, lower limit 0, and for lower limit, we take minus sign. Already minus sign is there. So minus minus plus. Lower limit is 0. Put t is equal to 0. If t is equal to 0, cos 0 is 1. So the term is 1 by 2. Now 1 by 2 is common in both the terms. So take it common. So it is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 minus cos 2t. So this is your answer here. So these are the examples based on inverse Laplace transform. Okay. This topic is inverse Laplace transform is over here. Thank you.